Well, I'm so excited to be hanging out with my good company correspondent today, Kara Baldwin. I had to make that sound so official. Kara, how I are you? I thought you were going to say my good friend, Kara Baldwin. That's what I was thinking you were saying. My good friend. Yes. yes. Well, you are. <laughs> but like my boss tells me I have to call you my good company correspondent. So <laughs> I can be both. <laughs> It's great to be back. Thanks. Uh, I'm so glad to have you on because we are heading into yet another school season. And for me, and I don't know how you feel about heading into September, but this for me feels like New Year. Like January, sure. But September, Mm -hmm. it just feels like I'm feeling the change of seasons. We're going from your fruit ice drinks to your pumpkin spice lattes, which are starting early this year, BT dubs. Um, Uh, I'm pretty sure today, just saying, at a certain uh, large coffee chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So um, I just feel like this is the new year heading into September. Yeah, it's always the start of a new quote unquote season. Like we get into these new rhythms and and any parent of really any age kid is entering something. You know, it's like whether they're starting kindergarten or moving into university out of the city or they have grandkids starting school it's very much something that a lot of people have in common we're kind of all in this together right yeah which is wonderful because then you see people who are overachievers that make you feel bad or you see people who are kind of like the same level as you and you're like yeah we're bad moms together not because you're actually bad moms but because that's how I quell the feeling of guilt like I just Mm. didn't really do a good enough job ringing in this new year this new school year wow I mean the pressure's on for me because I feel like so my my son's starting kindergarten I'm gonna finally have a kid in school and I'm terrified and actually to add to all that he was not in daycare so this is all new I literally bought labels I bought labels for his clothing for everything because another mom was like oh yeah you didn't have to do that with daycare you have to label everything I'm like even his socks yeah yes everything everything. this is all new to me so I'm trying to get everything sorted and not miss anything either because I want to start traditions yeah and I I'm a firm believer and I say this every year at Christmas too like it's never too late to start a new tradition. But when it comes to the first day of school and your first, first ever day of school, I want to at least start, you know, with the photos and yeah. maybe a nice themed lunch or something, a little note in his lunchbox, although he can't read. So I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I love it. First, take a deep breath. It's going to be OK. <sighs> All right. I actually saw a post on social media because I know uh, for those who have kids going into university, and now they're they're on their own. Um, mm. It's a it's a big step too. And so my friend who has a son who's in university said, um, "This is my first day of grade sixteen because he just added up the university years and sent the wow. picture to his mom because he knew that was a tradition that she had." And I just love oh. that even as this young man in university, there he is standing in a you know I guess residence or something. <laughs> With this sign that says, my first day of grade 16. So I think... I love that. Even though our kids might groan and be, you know, have like their grouchy faces. That's where my kids are at. And I hate the first day of school because <laughs> mom makes me take pictures. Uh, th- that's what my oldest has said verbatim. Um, <laughs> one day I would like to think that they appreciate the efforts because the first day and last day pictures, just seeing the growth, it's just... Mm. I don't know. It's maybe more special for us, but one day I think it will be special for them too. I mean, I feel like looking back on my old, even school pictures, you know, every on picture day, it's hilarious to see how I've changed over the years. Like, I'm glad that my parents bought the photo mm-hmm. when they come and do picture day, you know, like, so yeah, I think looking back, I think a lot of us can remember what it was like for us and having the lunch pail, I had a Barbie themed lunch pail, uh, you know, and like being able to get <laughs> a new backpack every year. And, and now that everybody has these signs. And so like, yeah, I, I want to do all the things that that I see online, but I also want to do the things that I remember doing when I was a kid. It was a big deal. Yeah, it really was. I also feel, though, that with all the pictures and the posts, it could make you feel like you have to reach a certain level. And for me, having uh, come from Alberta, I feel 
Uh, being there, it was great. I felt super family focused. Like it has a different vibe. And it just seemed like all the moms were super moms. Like they all somehow had time, wow. probably because they weren't mm-hmm. stuck in traffic for two hours a day um, <laughs> to, to put all of this together. And so here's something that I did I bought the Dr. Seuss book, um, Oh, the Places You'll Go. Yes. So I'm hoping my kids don't listen to this because it's supposed to be a surprise. So every year that my kids have been in school, starting with uh, kindergarten, because in Alberta, you don't have uh, junior kindergarten. It's just kindergarten. Uh, So every year I've had their teachers write in this book a little note to them. (gasps) The teacher. Oh, that's smart. Like at the end of the school year? Exactly. Oh, I'm stealing that. I mean, borrowing that. Yeah, no, please have at her. And so my hope is that when they graduate, that I haven't fallen off the bandwagon at like grade seven and I'm able to present them with this book and it will have all of their teachers imparting words of encouragement, wisdom, uh, highlighting traits that they have just so they can take those next steps and reflect in a a positive way because grade 12 can be a season of grief for our kids. So yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why Having I do that, that affirmation. One. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And even honestly, it makes me think even writing a little note to them from, a, you know, that you don't give to them till later. But, you know, here's what I'm proud of. Here's what I saw this year Yeah. Um, as a as a parent writing that note and just keeping it in an album for them for when they graduate. There's a lot of really neat traditions. I think I saw someone too say that every year you put like a $10 bill or every month in school, we put like a $5 bill into a, into a, a pouch or an envelope. And then you hand them this binder at the end of the school year. So now they also have some money to start their kind of college career with oh. as well. So like a little note with a $5 bill. There's a lot of really great ideas out there. I think the big thing that I'm just trying to remind myself is like you said already, I can't do it all. And I need to show myself some grace mm-hmm. because I will probably start something and get really gung ho and eager <laughs> about it. And I won't be able to keep it up. Yeah. And I'll be really hard on myself because I'll feel like a failure because I didn't stick to it, but we can't do it all. And we, we, we think we can, and we put everything that we see on social media for from a hundred different influencer moms all into one bucket and we feel like we have to have that bucket. Yeah. And the reality is, is they're not doing everything. They're picking one or two things that work for them. And yeah, so I think grace is is kind of going to be the theme, I think, for this next season. Yes. Also, can I add another thing? I, um, I take the first day of school off because let's face it, the <gasps> summer is really hard. <laughs> the kids are there. So it's like my very first day back into a regular swing of things where I can just breathe. I can lay on my couch all day and do nothing to school pickup time. Like no one's going to be harassing I? me. So that's my tradition for me. Yes. <laughs> do something for you, mom. Yes. And this is, I think, like you can do this no matter what phase your kids are in. Maybe your mm, your yeah. daughter just had a baby and you've been like really helping for two months. Well, for like, yay, your baby is now three months. Grandma just goes off the grid. <laughs> 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 just taking a you I day. Know. We just we put a lot of pressure on ourselves and I and I think this season, like you said, it's it really is a season. It really is a new year and we cram so much into it as if it is. Mm-hmm. And we feel like if we don't start well and right and you know, full on right at the beginning, Yeah. then we failed. And the reality is, is it doesn't have to be that way. Things can be gradual. Things can evolve yeah. and traditions can start at any time. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to handle it when he leaves me and steps into his school for the first time. I think I'll lose it, but he's excited. And so I'm just going off of just being so proud that my boy's growing up. Oh, that's so exciting. What I love is like, Your little one is just starting. My oldest is going into grade five and uh, it's just like different seasons. So, okay, what are your what are your takeaways? We've talked a lot about expectations and and grace as we head into this new season. What are your takeaways heading into a really big new chapter for you? The takeaways? Yeah, is just basically I can't do it all. So pick and choose because I'm going to be overwhelmed with my list. There's so little time left. There's only like two weeks anyways. So 
what can I actually do that's important to him? You know, like I might get all gung ho about making a custom T-shirt that says I'm entering kindergarten, but <laughs> he's not going to he's not asking me to do that. He he needs a new pair of shoes. So, you yeah. know, we'll prioritize that. So there's things like that where it's just, OK, prioritize what actually will impact him in the better way and then, you know, pick and choose. Um and then I think also just no pressure from all of the things you're seeing online. That's that comparison game once mm-hmm. again, where we're going to see all of the things come up in the next couple of weeks of what all the moms, or all the parents are doing. And that doesn't mean that it's the best fit for us. So I'm trying to keep focused on that. Yeah. Just do what you can do. And that's fine. And then take a day off for yourself. Take a day off. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kara, I'm so excited for you. And of course, your little one. But, you know, this is a big step for you as you continue the journey of letting go. Being a parent is tough. But uh, yeah, thank you for sharing your journey. And we will have to catch up again uh, in September and you can give us an Mm. update. Yeah. I mean, it goes so fast, really just trying to be in the moment and treasure every bit of it. So yeah, yeah, check in to see how I'm doing, you know, mentally. (laughs) (laughs) couple months or a month or so. You got it. Carrie, thank you so much for stopping by today on Good Company. As always, Holly, thanks.